Great, Bla Great Plains Ryan. Just lost it. Whole signal cut out. One wing, two wing, bits and pieces. She's dead, Jim. Huh? She's dead, Jim. Still good. Yeah, probably fix it. Oh, oh, so where did I tell you that I had good balsa planks for that? Hey Mike, you think I could get it off the runway? Sure, let me run. Here we go. <laughs> right, brothers. <laughs> so for those of you that saw my uh, Ryan crash yesterday here, uh, here's what caused it. The servo that operates the right aileron is attached to this plate on the inside with glue. And that glue released, and I don't know if you can see it, but the servo, the entire servo is just flopping around. It's not, it's not attached, sorry, it's not attached to anything in here. You can hear it bouncing around in there. So when I activated the servo, it didn't, uh, it didn't cause the aileron to respond. So I lost all, all use of the uh, right aileron and couldn't uh, couldn't pull out of the turn. It just kept going the same direction that it started when it uh, when it broke loose. So the lesson to be learned on this, I think you can kind of see it moving around. I mean, it sort of just loose in there. Uh, so the lesson to this is uh, when you buy a used airplane that's been sitting around for a number of years, you better uh, make sure you all these servos are uh, reaffixed. I didn't. I didn't do it with this one. Uh, uh, I did take the hatch off, but it, and it was glued, and I was actually going to replace the servos, but it was too hard to get off, and I thought I'd break this uh, this plate if I uh, tried to pry it off. So I just took a chance and went with it, and it was a, a bad chance to take. So you know, I think when you see the video that Jim took last night, uh, you'll see that this is uh, exactly what happened. Just, couldn't uh, couldn't make it turn with one servo.